make a difference one child at a time. It's all for the children. You know? I feel it's very important to give back to the community, and it takes a community to raise a child. I take it kind of personally in a way because uh, I went through it when I was a child. I am a, a victim of child abuse. They ride and they rally for the youngest and most powerless. The Guardian Children is a great organization and it's a tremendous way to give back to, to children who need to be empowered whenever they, especially whenever they're going through a, a tough time, um, if they've been uh, abused or molested or, or even neglected. Guardians of the Children. They're bikers with hundreds of members in seven states. Every 15 minutes, based upon a 24-hour basis, a child is abused. Every two days, five children die from child abuse in the United States. They adopt these children, not legally, but it sure feels that way. What we do is, prior to the court session, we'll go out and adopt the children into our biker family, so to speak. And when it comes time to go to court, we will actually be in the courtroom with the children. That empowers a child when they crawl up on that stand, look out there and see their family. They say, yep, he's the one who did it, and this is what he did. What I like about going to court with the kids is it shows them, it gives them the strength to face their accuser. Um, because it's a scary thing for a child to face their accuser. And it lets that accuser know that this kid has 50 people looking out for him. And even though we do great service, reputation of bikers, is intimidating for a lot of people, especially for the perpetrators. We'll go to courts with them so they're not feeling so intimidated by the perpetrator. So uh, that way, you know, they've got some ugly looking guys like me sitting back there looking at the perpetrator saying, yeah, yeah, we're here now, you know. When this group walks into a court to support a child, it works. Prior to this concept, 70% of the time the kids would get up on the stand and they knew no one, so therefore they'd say, I don't know anything, and they'd get up and walk off. Now, we, over 90% of the time, we get uh, the prosecution to be successful in convicting them. The sole purpose of this is to, to let a child know that, uh, not, that they're not alone, you know. And uh, what we do, as, as myself, I do, uh, I understand their pain and what they're suffering, what they go through, and, uh, and I make it a point to, uh, to take it personally and go and support these people, uh, these young children in court, you know, uh, against their, their perpetrators. Come here, brother. Get over here, please, boy. This rally, like all of them across the country, raises money for child abuse awareness and education. What's key is to pick up the signs. Craig Farrell is a special education teacher. Uh, one that touched my heart, it was like the second year teaching. In fact, I'm working with the kids I do, they're emotionally disturbed, have many mental issues. Up to noon, she would just totally act out. After that, she'd shut down. And through some research and investigation, I found out that she was being abused when her mother left for work every morning. Why do I do it? Most of the people that in this organization, not all, were either abused, or some of their family was abused, or friends were abused somewhere along their life. Their goal is to go out and combat this and stop it. And uh, we do it one child at a time. I've seen miracles happen. It, it makes a big difference. When we first meet the children, they're usually really nervous, and really scared, and, and scared of grown-ups. I have seen children who would not even talk to other people that over a period of a few months, and sometimes even a few weeks, uh, have a total transformation of their of their attitude towards the world, their outlook, their their, their self confidence, and of course, uh, as they uh, learn to respect themselves, they learn to respect others, and that's what breaks the chain of abuse. There was an older an older boy. We usually get younger kids, but we got an older boy recently, and he was a little shy, and he seemed to feel like he was a little too old for what we were doing. But once he saw the bikes and he got to ride with his family member with us it changed and you could see him warming up to us and accepting him as his family. We put on a birthday party, but there's so many kids, we do everybody at once. And I see the kids be able to be a kid. And what I mean by that, we have water gun fights, all this kind of stuff. And the kids are laughing and smiling. And that's something when we first meet them, you don't see. All of a sudden they're a kid, you know, and I like that. I like being a part of that, that life's still good. Bad things happen sometimes. But, you know, there's good people around you that'll help you through it.
you see kids light up and smile that haven't smiled in years. We give them a teddy bear, everybody hugs it, gives it to them, tell them anytime they feel lonely, call us, we'll come fill it back up with more hugs and love.